Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Shini here and today we are going to talk about a new video and new playlist that's going to be on JavaScript. So if you're new to this channel, please do check out my videos and please do consider subscribing if you like my content. I'll be creating a lot of useful videos on automation, programming languages, different technical stuff which are going on around. And do hit the bell icon to get notifications. And you can also check out my new channel, Learn to Code by Srini. It has the different contents on how to get started with data structures, algorithms, the interview questions, and how to clear the interviews. So let's get started with today's topic. So today we're going to learn a new topic that is JavaScript. And this is going to be completely from scratch. You don't have to worry about any prerequisites or what to know. I'm a completely new person to programming. You don't have to worry about anything. With this particular playlist, you will be able to learn it from scratch, from the basics. And I'll be taking it from very basic examples still uh, advanced topics. So you don't have to worry about any specific thing here. So let's look at the agenda for today's video. So we're going to look at what is JavaScript, uh, introduction for JavaScript. And then we'll understand what is that it is required to work with JavaScript execution or scripting. And finally, we look at an introduction on how to get installed with node.js installation. So let's look at the introduction part. So this is just like a few high level things which I wanted to talk about in this particular introduction section. So JavaScript is the object oriented programming language, like similar to C++, Java, right, Python, but it is a bit different. It's a bit different, I say, because it's kind of, uh, when you start looking at it, you would understand it's a bit of combination of Java as well as it has some C++ flavor, also it has some Python flavor in it. Now, you may not understand these all languages initially being a programmer, that's perfectly fine. The ones who have already worked with these languages may be able to understand what I'm trying to say. It's like bit and pieces of different languages, but it is like lightweighted and cross-platform supported. That means you can basically not have that much of like a worry about the execution environment. It's like supported across the different platforms like Windows, Mac, Linux. You can execute it at anywhere. It can also be used as a scripting language at both as a front-end language for developing your application look and feel. Like you might have heard of CSS as well as HTML5. Those are the front-end languages, right? So even JavaScript can also be used as a front-end language. Similarly, it can also be used as a back-end language. So it's like both the platforms are supported by JavaScript language. And it's an interpreted language. Now, what do we mean by interpreted language is that we don't need a particular compiler for JavaScript. So this is somewhat similar to Python. Python is also a dynamically interpreted language. You don't have a Python compiler, right? But whereas Java, C, C++, they also have compilers. So whenever we write a source code in those languages, we will have to first compile it. Then it would give us an output whether there is any compilation error or not. If all looks good, there will be some kind of a binary file getting generated or a bytecode file. And then finally, it will be interpreted by an interpreter. That's what happens in a two-step process, right? But JavaScript, Python, these are languages, they don't have any compiler. They directly are interpreted and you will get directly the output shown. But which particular thing allows us to get the output that we will look at as a next point, right? That is node.js. Then JavaScript also facilitates the interaction with the users due to its rich features. So what we can do is we can have a HTML page. We can embed JavaScript in it and it can also be used to prompt the user for certain input to be entered. It can give you some kind of an alert or a confirmation kind of a pop-up, right? Those kind of also things can be done by JavaScript. It is also used for validation of content which you are trying to enter inside a form. So let's say we have entered some data inside a form and there is some mandatory field which is missing. So it can be also used for doing assertions or validations with respect to the content which is entered into some form, right? So that also is another feature of JavaScript. And not only that, we can also do coding with JavaScript and we will see in our next sessions as to how coding is so easy in JavaScript. It is kind of completely similar to other languages, but I'll start it from scratch for those who are going to learn programming initially. For them, it will, so it will be comfortable. So I don't want to have any specific reference to any language as such. So I'll start from scratch from next session. And finally, we use node.js because this is going to give you an environment where you will be able to run your JavaScript files. So it's going to be open source. It's going to be cross-platform. You can run it in Mac, Windows, Linux, right? And it's going to be giving you a runtime environment where you can run your JavaScript files. So this is just a brief introduction about JavaScript. 
I would be focusing more on the coding part and with examples. So what I would want to cover in today's session after this introduction part is that how do we install Node.js? So what you can do is you can go to google.com and just search for Node.js installation. Just say Node.js installation. And you can download it for your specific operating system. Okay, and go to this home page. And here you can see that it is available for Mac as well as Windows. And you can also download the latest table version. So if you see here for Windows, if for example, if I were to show you, you can go for 64 bit depending upon your operating system type, like is it 32 bit or 64 bit. Likewise for Mac, you can go for the installation. So once you hit on it, the MSI, you will get this kind of a symbol shown. So I already have it. I'm going to cancel it. So if you want, you can just go ahead and install it and it'll just follow the basic instructions. And once installed, you will be getting, just go to the command prompt. You'll be getting a successful message that the installation is completed. And if you want to just confirm that your Node.js is installed, go to command prompt and just say, node hyphen iPhone version. So you can see in my operating system, 18.14 is the version, but now 18.16 is the latest version. So you can download it and you can check the version like this if it is you know successfully installed. So this is the basic prerequisite which you require to work with execution of JavaScript files. In the next session, what we're going to do is we're looking, going to look at examples where we're going to embed JavaScript in the HTML page. And then you will start writing some very basic commands like a kind of a hello world kind of a program in JavaScript. So stay tuned for my next video. And if you're new to this channel, please do subs consider subscribing to it and hit the bell icon to get notifications for my future videos. Guys, thank you so much for watching.